Philippine Military Academy started with the establishment of the Crimea Militar on October 25, 1898 in Malolos, Bulacan. By the power of the decree issued by the then Philippine Republic President, General Emilio Aguinaldo, the Academia was a school which awarded its graduates regular commissionship in the armed forces of the Philippines, which lasted until 20 January 1899, before hostilities between the Filipinos and the Americans erupted. On 17 February 1905, an officer school of the Philippine Constabulary was founded at the Walled City of Pintramuros in Manila. Three years later, on 01 September 1908, the school was transferred to Baguio City, initially at Camp Henry Ale, and subsequently a teacher's camp. On 08 September 1926, the Philippine Legislature passed Republic Act 3496, which renamed the school the Philippine Constabulary Academy and lengthened its course from nine months to three years with provisions to strengthen the faculty and revise its curriculum. On 21 December 1935, Commonwealth Act No. 1, also known as the National Defense Act, was passed. The Act formally created the Philippine Military Academy and authorized to confer a Bachelor of Science degree to its graduates after they have successfully completed the four-year course. The outbreak of the Second World War disrupted training in the academy. Classes of 1942 and 1943 graduated ahead of schedule, and its members were assigned to combat units of Bataan and other parts of the country. Many perished in the war. On 05 May 1947, the academy reopened at Camp Henry Allen due to the need for wider grounds. The Academy moved to its present site at Fort Del Pilar in Luacan, some 10 kilometers away from downtown Baguio City, and named after the young hero of Tiran Pass, General Gregorio H. Del Pilar. It was developed into a military training institution with facilities and infrastructures required by a growing academy. In the 1960s, the Academy underwent major changes as social humanistic courses were added to balance the techno-scientific disciplines with a view towards providing a well-rounded education that is relevant to the needs of a growing AFP. With the implementation of Republic Act 7192, the acceptance of women in the Academy was introduced. With this Act, the Academy made a step towards the recognition of women's status and equality. The female cadets have undergone practically what their male counterparts have been tasked to do. Although living in separate quarters, they have been accorded equal treatment and training. Today, the Philippine Military Academy remains focused on its vision to reach the international standard of military academies by the year 2028, producing military professionals of character dedicated to protect and help build the nation. Its mission adheres to the philosophy that adopts a holistic view of man as body, soul, and spirit. PME believes that future leaders can be selected, formed, and developed to their fullest potentials. Under this concept, PME's leader development program contains character development, a balanced college education, military leadership, and physical development. This total person concept is aptly captured in the PME mission statement to instruct, train, develop, and inspire the cadets so that each graduate shall possess the character, the broad and basic military skills, and the education essential to the successful pursuit of a progressive military career. As a value center leader in selfless service to the armed forces of the Philippines and the nation, these young men and women in front of you compose the cadet core armed forces of the Philippines coming from different regions of the archipelago, ranging as far north as Batanes to as far south as Tawi-Tawi. They were carefully selected through a series of competitive mental and physical examinations. These cadets represent different levels of our society and from all walks of life. 
these cadets before you are the future leaders of our armed forces and our nation. Okay, I'm going to 